I cheated on my ex. Yeah, I hurt him a lot because I'm also his first girlfriend and everything. What was it that made you want to cheat on him? I always wanted to like self-destruct, self-sabotage, but he was like best boyfriend, he treated me right. I don't know what happened and that's my biggest regret. Since our separation, I've been with someone who is better in bed. So Jen, after the breakup, yeah. there was someone else who was even better. When we broke up, I was with someone that just gave me everything in the short amount of time that for eight years, I couldn't even feel with him. I thought I gave my all, because that's all I knew. We're like almost 30 now, like we should have like a family and kids. But I mean like it's just enough me to have a family and kids. In a nutshell, she wanted to have fun and probably date a bad boy, but she probably kicked him to the curb and realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. I frequently come across online content where women are happy, powerful, and able to enjoy themselves while still in their 20s. Things start to get difficult for them in their 30s. They are usually unaware of how difficult it is and how hard it gets further on. So, a woman who wrote on a site describes how difficult it is for her to date in her 30s and how she is struggling. Many of her hopes and plans for the future aren't coming true. And since many women will hear this, this goes out for you as well. So let's discuss why older women who are successful in their lives are struggling to find a man. And so, a 30-something comes to a harsh realization and starts to realize it may be too late for love. I'll just speak directly to the women now. Dating is already challenging for you women because there aren't many people you can date later on in your 30s and 40s unless you're incredibly fit and beautiful and have high social value. Women are naturally promiscuous and hypergamous, which implies that they constantly search for a more favorable arrangement. If you're a working woman in your 40s or 50s, you've ascended the corporate ladder. You are a doctor, a lawyer, or another distinguished member of today's society, and you have accumulated a sizable fortune. Your wall is filled with numerous pieces of frames that tell the tale of your accomplishments from top universities and colleges, along with the most prestigious awards and scholarships. That sounds fantastic on paper, but in reality, guys are not commonly drawn to degrees, especially in women. Men don't function that way. Women view men as subjects of accomplishment. Women are viewed as attractive and desirable objects. That is the simple reality about men and women. As you move up the social ladder as a woman, earning all this money, holding corporate jobs, and doing other things of that nature, you've probably already purchased and or paid off your home. You can tell you're good if you drive a magnificent car that most women could only imagine owning. Your reservoir of prospective dates is smaller because you only date up and across. You earn about $300,000 a year. You exclusively date guys who make at least that much in a year. I'll relate that to an alternative explanation for why it doesn't work out for you women as well. That brings me to my second point, which is that successful men who you would like to date and who you think would be drawn to your bossiness or sass typically date younger, hotter and more approachable women. Men simply act in that manner. Men are once again successful objects. Having beautiful women is the main aim. Early 40s women simply aren't competitive enough with early 20s women at their prime. They are young, full of life, and full of excitement. They look the best that they'll ever look in their lives, and they have long lives ahead of them. They're incredibly fertile and versatile in their thinking. There are several reasons why guys go for much younger women, and this applies to everyone on the planet if you've read about evolutionary psychology. There is almost usually a chapter or section of the book devoted to attraction levels and data from polls of males who are given pictures of attractive women from the age of 18 to 70, from around the globe, from all civilizations and every region of the world. The result is usually the same. Women in their early 20s are more attractive to men, which is why men always rate them as the highest on a scale of desirability and prospects. Men have always regarded women as objects of beauty, thus no amount of societal pressure, magazine articles or other efforts to change this relationship have ever been successful. For example, the social recommendations, men should only date women their age, and fat acceptance rules are becoming more common. That's okay, but what does men's behavior suggest to you exactly? You will have a reduced selection of prospective dates to choose from once you have ascended the corporate ladder and completed all of that. What's left for men to choose from in the dating pool is often made up of younger, sexier women rather than women their age. And no amount of narrative building to help women in their 30s and 40s is going to change facts about men and women and their likes and dislikes. This brings me to my third and final point, 
which is about the qualities that men frequently look for in women of that age, range above 30 and 35. According to my own experience, I can say that women in that age bracket are often unsuitable for committed relationships. I'll explain why. They have generally seen everything. They have a high count of previous partners. There are typically young children present with them from their previous husbands and partners. They might also be practically intolerable in some circumstances and exceedingly unpleasant in others. These attractive older ladies are looking for men of a higher caliber, but the men aren't interested because they don't want to return home to conflicts, arguments, and minor disputes after a long day at work and to have fights with these women. They want to live in peace. They are looking for compassion. They are looking for a woman who can transform his house into a welcoming home. In the end, it is all that matters. It also says a lot about why there are so many younger guys dating so many of these older women. Many of these successful women have made a lot of money, have a nice house and car, and frequently go out and meet these younger guys in nightclubs and bars and just pick them up and hook up with them until they end up in a relationship. I'll add that a lot of these ladies in their 40s and even 50s who favor dating these young men do so merely because that's what they get. These young men are in their prime, innocent, and seeking life experiences that they can share with their friends. As you undoubtedly already know, many of the older group of males find it difficult or impossible to function in the bedroom. So at that time, these wealthy women viewed these younger men more as objects of beauty. Things aren't moving as smoothly or as they used to since they haven't made caring for themselves a high priority. Because older men frequently date younger women and do not want to date the unpleasant older women who occasionally also bring their children from prior marriages and husbands, many older women will start dating some of these younger guys. If I had any counsel to provide to any of the younger women out there, it would be this. Pick a man when you are young to start a family with, because while you're young, beauty is on your side. Age works in your favor, but it won't be the same in 10 years. Some late 30s or even early 40s women want to settle down and start families. I can only tell them that you are 42, or in some situations, 45. Your likelihood of becoming pregnant is quickly fading. You might also encounter other issues, such as high-risk pregnancies. In most cases, IVF therapy is required to induce pregnancy. The most crucial thing for younger women to do is to concentrate more on a man's future than his present financial situation. Because it will be difficult to meet a wealthy man at your age if you are 23. Think about it. How can someone who you go to college with make 10 times the money that people his age usually do? That's incredibly unfair to ask of men. The ideal candidate would be in his late 30s or early 40s. But if you want to start a life, go for someone who has a promising future, not someone who is in his future. You know what I mean? Men are more interested in the past of a woman. What happened in her past? Has she a history of engaging in several affairs? Men need to contribute. They must develop their identities. A woman who is willing to compromise and grow professionally may find it difficult to find a man when she is ready to start a family since many men are turned off by the fact that she is already 42, financially independent, presumably has children, and will always put her job first. Men prefer to be with younger women who will treat them respectfully and provide them with something of value. These qualities are naturally connected with the natural beauty of a woman being feminine. Men seem to be more drawn to someone who is more approachable, younger, and has less baggage. Women must be aligned with their nature and biology to make better life decisions and if they decide to party away their 20s, they need to be okay with the consequences of marrying late and having children in their 40s. I also believe that older women need to educate younger women about these consequences to help them decide how they want to live the rest of their lives. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.